Hi there guys, welcome to KTM Cape Town's Tech Talk. Today we are going to cover chain maintenance. This is some of the products and tools we're going to use and uh, we'll take you through the steps of the chain maintenance with these. First is your Motorex chain cleaner. This is a product you just spray on your chain, or wipe it off with a brush, not a wire brush as that will damage the o-rings on your chain and then afterwards just wipe it off with a cloth. And this product is the Motorex Chain Loop. Motorex makes this product in three different disciplines. Today we're using the off-road chain loop because we're working on an off-road bike. And the very basic tools you need for this uh, process is a torque wrench. The torque on the wheel is 18 Nm, so just get a torque wrench that's able to torque 18 Nm with a 27mm socket for the rear axle on the XEWs, the XE and SX models has a 32mm axle nut, then as well as a 13 and a 10mm spanner for your axle block adjuster bolts. Okay, so the first aspect of your chain maintenance will be chain tension, which is very important because a chain that's too tight might wear out your sprockets, your chain, as well as wheel bearing, counter shaft bearing prematurely, and a chain that's too loose will derail and cause a lot of problems for you on a ride. So on this bike, on the inside of the airbox cover lid, you can actually see there is a specification between your swing arm and the bottom of your chain. There's a minimum of 55, maximum of 58 millimeters. That is the suggested chain tension. That will be measured between the swing arm right at the back of the chain slider and the bottom of the chain itself. So if you actually take a tape measure, put it on your swing arm, lift your chain, as you can see, that's just over the 50 mm that's actually right on the 55 millimeter mark there and uh, the one thing we have noticed in the shop is that is about three fingers so if you're out on a ride and you don't have a tape measure with you you can actually measure this and it'll get close to a 55 to 58 millimeter so you just put your three fingers in there you'll see that's about spot okay, as you can see here we've uh, intentionally tightened this chain too much that's way too tight um, so just to show you how to actually adjust it, it's very simple, you loosen off this 13mm lock nut on your axle adjuster block bolt and this as you screw it in will obviously uh, give you some more chain slack. So the idea here is to use these indicate, indication marks together with the ones on your swing arm just to get your wheel lined up precisely straight so you want the wheel to run in a straight line. So you'll carry on adjusting this bolt until you get your uh, measured clearance here. As we said earlier, 55 to 58 millimeters, which is about your three fingers length there. So our final step of tightening up is to tighten this uh, adjuster bolt a little bit into the axle block and then just lock off your 13 millimeter lock nut right there. As soon as you have your two uh, marks lined up on your axle blocks, you can just tighten this nut while Always a good idea, put a rag or some piece of tool just between the spr sprocket and the chain, keep some tension on it to keep the adjusting block against the adjusting bolt, you don't want the gap there, and then torque this down to 18 newton meters. So the idea with the chain lube is to get uh, some lube on your o-rings on the outside as well as some chain lube on the rollers on the inside and then as well on the outside of the chain and the bottom of the inside of the chain as well. So it's good practice to check your chain tension with the rider on after setting it to specification just to make sure that you don't have a chain that's too tight or too loose. So if you take a look here, uh, this, is, this looks about right with someone on the bike. You don't really want any less than this as it will cause excessive tension and wear as I explained earlier. And then if you sit on the bike and this is excessively loose, then you know there's a chance of derail. So yeah, that's just a little double check to uh, make sure everything is well and sorted off the second specification. Okay, so if you found this info useful, please leave us a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or requests, please leave a comment below. Any more info on the products we use today, come and see us in the store. We really hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you again next week.